some applicants have complained about encountering difficulty in assessing information under the right to information law. This comes on the back of assurances by the information minister that the law is operational in all government ministries. Today, if you go to uh, the ministries, um, there are information officers who've been designated. Since They're, when? They have been designated. You should send a reporter. Come you, and check. Ministries? Yes. Every ministry you has an information officer. You should send a reporter. There's an information officer who's been designated. There are forms, standard forms that have been made available um, to assist you in your application. And even those forms have um, columns where they will be able to feed back to you when and where you can come back for feedback. This was the assurance that led the news team to find out if indeed the public could easily access information from government ministries. On January 9, TV3 first went to the information ministry where producer of the 3FM morning show Sunrise, Abdul Razak Munkaila, went through the process. The information that were, were, were requested on, the, on both forms that I feel were quite simple and very easy to go through. So we decided to try other ministries and independent bodies. The Coalition for Restoration, a civil society organization, is here at the Electoral Commission to access information under the RTI law. We have addressed our uh, petition to the Information Officer, Electoral Commission. You are supposed to request for the information through the um, information officer. We are seeking for um, the full details of the audit that was done and that um, made them justify the fact that um, we upgrade, upgrading the system is, uh, will cost more than we getting on board a new data center. In 15 minutes, Jerry returns unable to go through the process. We were told to go to the confidential room. We went there. And um, it will interest you to know that the public officials are, in a way, not so much abreast with what the Right to Information Act is. And then they still refer to it as a bill, but we were so much surprised um, why we didn't get it. But nevertheless, if the um, RTI is not operational, we also triggered our right under the Article 21.1 F. We followed up to the Finance Ministry, where Media General Journalist P.D. Wedham wanted full disclosure as a private citizen on the full expenditure of the Ghana at 60 celebrations. They tried to get me into understanding that, okay, the right to information implementation has been put out there, like as in the processes and the structures, do not exist in their, in their uh, ministry. But then, if anyone wants information, the person can access it through their client service department. So if I was, I, I, I didn't mind, I could request for the information. But they told me that what, what the information was actually about is that I cannot have the information with the request that I'm making unless I bring a formal written letter. I asked to who? They said I should address it to the ministry, uh, the, the Honorable Minister, and then they'll take it from there. But then eventually, I, they, when I asked for something to show that they are acknowledging receipts, they gave me an extension that this is a line to their office that I can always call and check. The situation was no different at the trade and industry ministry. I went straight to the chief director's office. Um, I, was, I was taken to the secretary. She asked if they were also covered by the right to information law. And I said yes and started to explain what the Ministry of Information had said about the process and all of that. So I asked if they had information officers. So they said, okay, if I need information officers, I should go down to the client service unit. Um, the assistant public relations officer who was there at the time told me um, it wasn't operational there yet and that even though they had heard about it and that it will come, they still do not have the forms. They understand officers are supposed to handle that, information officers, but that, that training hasn't been done yet. We sought answers from the Information Ministry. I'm currently here at the Ministry of Information to get a reaction to some difficulties and challenges some applicants are encountering in accessing information under the RTI law. And the Minister of Information is currently not available. However, we've been told that all ministries have been engaged on the RTI law on the peculiar challenges that some applicants are encountering 
encountering. What we've been told is that the ministry will investigate and get to the bottom of the matter. An independent body such as the Electoral Commission, we understand um, the Ministry of Information is currently in the process of engaging them on the RTI law. Meanwhile, information officers are also still undergoing training on the RTI law. So TV3 will definitely follow up and bring updates to our viewers. Meanwhile, TV3 understands the processes for constituting the RTI Commission has been completed and will soon be inaugurated.